Greetings and welcome to Vlog Time. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> ah, I always screw this up. Anyways, um, it's October soon, tomorrow, in 15 minutes for me. <laughs> and I decided to make another horror game marathon like I did last year. And yeah, I kind of wanted to announce this beforehand. The problem I have is that I have two games running at the moment. You can kind of count Wellness of the Haunting as a horror game. Mm, I call it more mystery game because it has the mood for it, but... Mm, there's too much what the fuck going on. That's my problem with this game in terms of getting a horror mood. I don't get in the mood for it because yeah, it's, it's, I'm always like, what? 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 No head? Eh? What? Eh? What? Anyways, not very horrific for me. But still, I am not going to pause these two Let's Plays. Um, what I'm going to do is upload two videos per day. Yay! <laughs> My regular schedule of Realms of the Haunting and Realms of Arcadia, and alternating between them, and then the other Let's Plays that I have planned. So far, it's Alone in the Dark 2, and Fatal Frame 2. We will see how long they will take. Uh, and I have another game. I want to have three games. I can't remember how many I had last year. Uh, don't know. But it will be three games. I haven't really decided about the last one. If someone has a good text adventure game, I got a suggestion for text, a visual novel, which I may do. Um, but I kind of wanted to do another text adventure. So if you know a good horror text adventure that doesn't take five years to solve, then let me know, please. Um, as you can see, I, I had a hard time finding a, for me, scary image. Well, I found another one, and this is very horrible. Ah! Anyways. <laughs> I hate this moment. Anyways, uh, I hope my neighbors didn't hear me. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, 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 uh, this is from your horror. This is, there is nothing horrific in it, but there could be. This could be thing is what's important in my opinion. Because, um, I don't see a lot of horror if mm, the monsters are zombies. I don't, I, don't see Dead Island as a horror game. It's a gore fest. I don't see Friday the 13th as a horror movie. It's a splatter movie. Its sole purpose is to show gore, guts, and whatever. And that's not horror for me. Um, I really liked Event Horizon. I think I mentioned this a few times. But a lot of people I know were like, oh, we went to Horizon, oh, I laughed so good during this movie. <laughs> I don't know. I found it very, uh, uh, scary and, oh, if I say horribly, then it's a bad word. <laughs> the movie wasn't horrible. <laughs> uh, horrific? I don't know. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter. Um, and also, series I liked was Juon the Grudge, the real Juon the Grudge, not the Sarah Michelle Geller version, because that one sucked. It sucked <laughs> really hard. Uh, and yeah. Uh, so horror months, uh, more videos. Uh, I'm not sure when I will upload the first horror video tomorrow. The problem is, I have work to do. <sighs> yeah, I got told today that we should 
come to work tomorrow to meet a deadline. Mm, well, it comes with the job. I get a bit more money if you work at the weekends. I don't care. Soon I can build a palace made of out of gold or something. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm not sure when I will upload the first horror video. It may be in the afternoon, but for me, afternoon for you, night, I guess. Depends on your time zone. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is that I saw the Syndicate trailer and it didn't look bad. I have to admit it. I, I, can, I didn't say in my video that I think the game will suck or something. I mean, nowadays you can't really make a bad, a really bad FPS unless you really try. But, um, yeah, the trailer looked okay, looked nice, I, it looked a bit too clean for me. I don't know, I imagine the Syndicate world to be a more darker, rotten place and stuff like that, and not think clean like that. If you saw the intro to Syndicate Wars, you know what I mean. I mean, they have these chips implanted that tell them, Everything is fine, but it isn't. Anyways, not worth renting. If it wouldn't have the name Syndicate on it, I would be a little bit more uh, comfortable with this game, but... Uh, anyways... <sighs> I'm with my old games back. I'm really looking forward to Legend of Grimrock. Grimrock? I totally forgot the name. <laughs> it looks interesting. Uh, and that's what I kind of, um, that's my problem with the gaming industry. Uh, in my syndicate video, a lot of people brought up the argument that nowadays games are so expensive that you have to produce a triple A game and it has to sell a lot of uh, copies in order to be profitable. And, I can understand this. I, I I know what where they're coming from. I can imagine that making a really good title takes up a lot of money. But let's look at Minecraft. If you have a good idea and have a good, I, I wouldn't even say marketing. I, I I heard about Minecraft on Lord Cat's stream. It was more mouse to mouse um, recommendation this game, but it worked. I'm not saying that every indie game title will now rock the world, but <coughs> <coughs> take something like Minecraft. It, I'm pretty sure it didn't take it, it, the amount of money he got and he invested. I'm pretty sure that the difference is a lot higher than in most of play games. I'm not sure. Um, but what my problem is with nowadays gaming is that there's too much focus on the graphics. I kinda missed the, the Unreal Engine time of gaming, what I like to call it. Companies could just buy the Unreal Engine and make a game based on the Unreal Engine. Pro games were cheaper, I guess. I'm pretty sure buying the Unreal Engine was a lot cheaper than making your own engine and testing it and making it work fluently and stuff like that. Um, the negative was that all games look the same. Yes, okay, fine. But take the Oblivion engine. I'm pretty sure it did, it did take the Oblivion engine for Fallout, or? Um, I'm not 100% sure. So? It was a good looking engine. It looked good. Why not use it for more games? No, I'm pretty sure they really enhanced it a lot for Skyrim. At least from what I saw. Uh, is it necessary? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. No, that's gaming is all about graphics. I know retro gaming was all about graphics too, but in my opinion there was a little bit more innovation because you could innovate at that time. I don't know. I don't know what I want about gaming. My 
the main problem is this whole you have to make games that are all the samey because people know that it will be good and they will buy it. I, I, I don't understand these people who buy every Call of Duty game that there is. Is there so much difference? Is this is there such a huge difference between Call of Duty except the graphics? I don't know. I don't play Call of Duty. The FPS shooter I have uh, at Jericho, Left for Dead, Fear 2, sucked. Uh, and the um, Condemned and the Darkness. Hmm. I think that are all the FPS games I have, and oh, Far Cry 2. <laughs> yeah, you can make killing people really boring. I don't know, I just kind of miss this. So I'm kind of glad that the indie market is booming. I'm, I really hope that uh, Dungeons of Legend, Grimwalk, whatever its face is, will be a real hit. That companies can also produce these games. That's what I don't understand with big companies. I'm, I'm pretty sure EA doesn't have, to, doesn't need to make cheaper games that have a higher, um, that produce better income. I have no idea how to say it. I know the words in German, but I don't know them in English because I'm not really talking about money a lot <laughs> talking in English. Um, but. Yeah, well, why are not more smaller companies producing these cheaper games with a bit of innovation, lots of retro thoughts, and get their names out? I don't know, it worked for great. I don't even know the company that made it, a bad example. But it worked for Minecraft. I hope it will work for Dungeons of What's Its Face. And. I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, these vlogs are all proofed. I don't think before. Oh, what am I going to say? What are going to be my points? This is not a review. It's five, uh, almost midnight here. I'm dead tired. I worked for ten and a half hours. And I just wanted to update you guys on what's coming up next. <laughs> and I decided to talk about games. Uh, well, the good thing is with DOS box and stuff, you can enjoy all the old games with what I'm doing. And the problem is that a lot of old games, you kind of need to be grown up with them in order to like them. I have seen, I haven't seen a lot of old games that I haven't played that I liked. If you know what I mean, unless it's a dungeon crawler. 90% of the dungeon crawler I have played, I really enjoyed. Even if I haven't played them as a kid, but um, uh, what was the game Kikoski I was playing? Um, Albion. Albion. It has horrible controls. After I watched this Let's Play, I was like, "Hmm, this looks very interesting. Dungeon crawling and stuff like that." But this is one of the 10% ga dungeon crawler that I didn't like. I couldn't cope with the controls. The controls were horrible in this game, and I'm not even sure if you can change them. I should have checked this out. <laughs> but, oh well. Um, another game I didn't like is... I don't know. I think I played one on GOG. Kingpin. That was horrible. Oh, no. Uh. I like my shooters. Put your head, put your brain out of the window and <laughs> kill stuff. Uh, I also don't like Deus Ex. Yes, I, I admit it. I do not like Deus Ex. I do not like Deus Ex 1. I played it a few years ago and it didn't cope with me. I kind of like System Shock, and I know that Deus Ex is kind of like System Shock, but I like System Shock more. Perhaps I'm not really into the cyberpunk genre, except for Shadow One. Shadow One kind of interests me, but this whole 
um, my main problem with Deus Ex is that I always want to make sure that I'm prepared for every situation. Because I don't want to be like in Deus Ex 3, oh, I pumped all my points into stealth and stuff. Hmm, you know, I have to fight this boss. Fuck it. <laughs> I never played Deus Ex 3, I just heard it from my friend, uh, friends and stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of it. I don't have a lot to say. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to... Last day tomorrow of work, then two weeks, two weeks off. Oh yes, I will be at my parents in the second week of October. Not the whole week. I, I would go insane if I have <laughs> to be there the whole week. But I will most likely record one Let's Play completely and upload it before I go. Or upload the rest of the ongoing Let's Play. I'm pretty sure that Alone in the Dark 2 will take some time and I will most likely upload the rest of Alone in the Dark 2 one day before I go. We will see. We will see. Anyways, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>